Good morning traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Crypto Corner. I hope you all had a wonderful week. The time now is 9.30 a.m. South African time. That is 7.30 a.m. GMT. Uh, we've got a very enlightening webinar this week on the cryptocurrencies. The crypto market is setting up very nicely. There are very interesting trade setups and the patterns are very clear. We'll be looking at that in the week ahead. So let's see how the market is going to play out. Before we get started, if you'd like to contact us, check out our contact details on any of our videos on the channel. If you go to the channel and click under the description, you'll find the contact details. So the Telegram channel is where you'll find the live webinar links for these videos. Uh, also, the, uh, you can follow us on TradingView as well. Our website, you can also find the live webinar link on our website. Uh, follow us on Twitter. That is the link for our Twitter profile as well as our Facebook page. So if you go to our Facebook page, you'll see that there's a number of charts that we post up here uh, for the before and after charts of the trades that we actually trade after the market analysis on these uh, videos. So what we're posting up here is what we're analyzing during these videos. Right, so let's get started with uh, this week's analysis. Uh, uh, we've got our next course. Uh, currently, our, our current course has just completed uh, last week a very successful course that is an Elliott Wave Crypto Forex and Cryptocurrency uh, training course. Uh, it's a two week course. The next one only starts in on the 5th of October. You can start uh, booking your space if you'd like to take the course. That will probably be the last course of the year. We'll confirm if we'll have another one after October, but for now, is, uh, that is uh, the last one that we've scheduled for this year. Right, so you can check that on our website. Let's get started with uh, this week's analysis. So let's just look, have a look at how the cryptocurrencies have been setting up uh, from uh, around April. So let's start with Bitcoin. I'm gonna show you why we have been looking for Bitcoin or the cryptocurrencies to be bullish long-term for the last couple of weeks. We've spent quite a bit of time in a corrective structure, but we'll, look, we'll have a look at that. So let's have a look at what our members had a couple of weeks back. So this is a weekly structure on Bitcoin that uh, we posted uh, on the, let me just check the date here, 11th of April. Okay, so on the 11th of April, we expected that Bitcoin was gonna push up higher. As you can see, that is the move that we have on Bitcoin. This is a weekly chart. We understand that the market does not move in a straight line. So that is why we go into the lower time frame to actually look at all the number of waves that it takes in the lower degree. So this is the day, uh, weekly chart. So let's have a look at what the daily looked like on uh, Bitcoin. I'm giving you a bit of detail here so you can see where this is all coming from. So on the daily, you'll see that we had this impulsive move in the white A degree. We had this three wave correction in the blue A, B, C degree, and we have been expecting this move to the upside. So the correction that you see here is what we, what we anticipated. This is the correction that took about a month to play out before the current breakout. So we did expect that we're gonna have the push to the upside, but first we needed to get a correction before the impulsive move to the upside. How did we know this on the 11th of April? That's because this, uh, because of the power of uh, wave analysis. So we knew that this was gonna make a push to the upside. So that is the daily, let's go to the lower, another, another time frame here. Because what you get here is four time frames on the website, but this is only for members. So the four hour looks something like this. Uh, so this is actually the latest chart. This one was posted on the 26th of July. Unfortunately, this was already after the breakout. We never got the opportunity to take this one here. If you remember the last couple of videos or webinars, uh, the one that we got from right here was the Ripple setup, which I will show you earlier uh, uh, as well in a bit. So this is Bitcoin. So what are we looking at at Bitcoin? What is the structure of Bitcoin? of Bitcoin. So if you look at here, we were looking at this one to be making a five wave corrective structure in uh, I mean, a three wave corrective structure in WXY. That view has changed because of the impulsive way in which this one has broken up. And this is how we're looking at Bitcoin right now. So let's go to the four hour chart on Bitcoin. So you can see the structure, very clear structure on Bitcoin. And very straightforward, actually. So if you look at the whole four hour chart on Bitcoin currently on the screen, this is what you see. So what we're looking at on this leg, from the C leg that you saw on the daily in blue, this is what we have here. So let's have a look. Let's show the waves in the yellow. Follow the yellow. We've got one, two, 
three, four, and the current move, we're looking at it as a wave five, right? So internally, you've got lower degree in the red, minor degree. So we're looking at this as a leading diagonal. We're looking at this one as a leading diagonal with one, two, three, four, five waves, a pullback in two, and then we've got this one here in one, two, one, two, three, four, five, so four, five there, a truncated fifth year, a correction in wave four. As you can see, that's a double correction in wave four. What happens? We're currently in the move, wave five move. We are still looking for more upside in the red minor degree. So we look, we, this is what we're gonna be looking at in, in the next coming session. So we're looking for this one to break out of this structure and push further higher, okay? So we may get one pullback before we get to the upside here, but either way, we'll only be looking to trade when our indicator confirms that we are ready to break out of this. Right, so that is Bitcoin. That is the structure that we're looking at on Bitcoin. Let's look at Ethereum. This Ethereum now. Now, Ethereum also a very clear structure. Before we look at the current uh, four hour structure, let's have a look at how we forecasted this uh, in April, three months ago. So let's have a look at the cryptos and we look at Ethereum, the daily chart on Ethereum. And you see what we looked at on Ethereum? This is what we have here. We expected this one to push up higher from current levels. Where are we on Ethereum? We're currently around the 400 area. So that is a straight line in the, in, on the daily, but in the lower time frame, we actually look at all the number of waves that we're looking at to the upside. So this is why we're looking at Ethereum from April and our members had this chart from April up to date. So we're looking at this one as a three wave move, correction here, the B in blue and the move to the upside. This is where we are now. All right, so that is Ethereum daily chart. Uh, let's have a look at the four hour. So if you look at the four hour, uh, the four hour is actually the latest one. We're expecting a pullback here. Did not quite get the pullback. And then we're looking for upside here. So this is the updated structure on Ethereum, very clear. So again, Ethereum is starting at the bottom of the swing here with a diagonal, with a leading diagonal in with one, two in yellow, three, four, the current move that we're seeing here is wave five. We've already started with a red minor wave five to the upside here. If you look at this uh, wave three in red, we've just broken out of this one in the last week. So we're still looking for continuation to the upside. It's no sign of reversal. So we're just gonna be looking for the cryptocurrencies to push to the upside. That is Ethereum. Uh, let's look at Litecoin. Look at Litecoin. Let's look again on the weekly and the daily. So again, Litecoin, can you see here? We expected the drop here to the bottom and the move to the upside here on Litecoin. Now, all those moves, this was also all posted on the same day on the 11th of April. We had the drop and then we had the push to the upside. Let's have a look at uh, the daily chart as well. Now, if you look at the daily chart on Litecoin, this is just to show you that wave analysis works in any market. So we use wave analysis to trade this market as well. Now you see here, uh, this is what we have. We had the move to the upside here. We had the pullback that we're looking at, and this is now making a move all the way to the upside on the daily. Let's have a look at how this is playing out now and what we're looking at on Litecoin. Uh, this is Litecoin, right? And just make sure. Yes, that is Litecoin. Let's uh, go to Litecoin now and have a look at the Litecoin structure. Litecoin, we've just broken out of the red minor wave four. Now you're looking for this to continue to the upside. Any pullbacks here, all the way to wave five. So Litecoin is slightly different in structure in that we're looking at this as a three wave move. A in yellow, B, and then we're looking for a C. But obviously uh, wave A has got five waves there. As you can see, we've got this one as a diagonal, one, two, three, four, five pull back in a double correction and this move all this five wave move that we're currently in we're currently in wave four we've just broken out of wave four if i switch off here you'll see the structure clearly this is an a b c structure that we're looking at here a b and an impulse so here we're starting with a diagonal in the wave a that's a diagonal with five waves that's a diagonal with five waves a b and the c we're looking for this move now that is the next move that we're looking at on Litecoin. Right, uh, Ripple. Ripple, we managed to catch this move from right at the bottom. We managed to catch this move from right at the bottom. This one was much clearer than the rest as for, for the move to the upside. We also have a trade set up here 
on Ripple. So we're looking for this move on Ripple. Where is this coming from? Again, this is another three wave structure. One, two, three, uh, A, B, C here. You've got a leading diagonal in with A and you're looking for the C in, uh, for, for the C there. So let's have a look here. You also have one, two, three, four, and a five diagonal pull back in B, one, two, three, four, we're looking for the five to still push to the upside on a ripple. Now, this is also not in hindsight. We also looked at ripple exactly the same way, 11th of April. This is how we had ripple on the daily. So we expected the pullback. We already had this pullback on the daily. And that is the two months or the month that we spent in a corrective structure on the cryptocurrencies uh, before the break to the upside. So let me just show you that correction. So the correction, that I'm referring to. So from May, about for about two months, this is what we've been looking at. We kept calling for this to push to the downside. That is the correction, the pullback that you see on all the cryptocurrencies. We were looking for this before a resumption of the move to the upside. Now the move is up, the cryptos are up on an uptrend as expected. This one is, will now be the red minor wave four on Ripple. Very clear structures, easy money on the cryptocurrencies in the next coming weeks. All right, so let's have a look at the rest here. Uh, we only have this uh, major listed on the website, but with this, uh, we also analyze in our live trading room uh, in our group. So this is Bitcoin Cash. Let's have a look at Bitcoin Cash. Now, looking at Bitcoin Cash, we're looking at this as a corrective structure A, B, C. There isn't much data on the cryptocurrencies because the data that we have available is only about 10 years because the cryptos only came into place about 10 years back, around 2009. Now, this is all the data that we've got on Bitcoin Cash. What are we looking at here? We're looking at this to have completed the corrective structure. Bitcoin Cash, expecting it to push up higher from this level here. If we go to, uh, let me go, just go to the daily so you can see why we're looking for upside here. Let's have a look on the daily. Uh, let's switch off there. So on the daily, we don't know what is going on here. We're assuming that there has been a move, but it doesn't really matter because you can see this is corrective. Is this the end of the move? If it is the end of the move, we're going to get a similar move to that and retest the highs there. That is Bitcoin Cash. Uh, Satoshi vision, vision, this Bitcoin Satoshi vision, let's have a look. This is versus Bitcoin, right? Let's have a look. So this one, uh, let's go back to the four hour here. So we may be starting a move to the upside. Again, we've made a three wave move to the downside here on Bitcoin SV. One, two, three. Is this the complete move? Are we ready now to make a move to the upside? We've made a three-way move to the upside, a three-way pullback. Are we going to start making a move to the upside? How far will this go? Uh, for now, we'll just expect it to get to about the 50% of the whole move or the 61%. So this is the move that we're expecting on B, uh, BSV. Right, Zcash. Zcash, we're expecting a bit of a pullback. There's a structure that we've got. We've got a five wave impulse on uh, Bitcoin, uh, Zcash rather. Starts with a diagonal, wave two, wave three, wave four looks to be incomplete. Looks like we're gonna have a three wave move here. Indicator is telling us a bit, of, a bit of a pullback before a resumption of the move to the upside. Just make note that Zcash is against US dollar and uh, the Satoshi version is versus BTC as well as Bitcoin Cash, right? So. Monero, let's have a look at Monero. Very clear structure. You're expecting Monero to continue pushing to the upside. We're expecting this to keep pushing up higher. There's a trade setup here for upside. We'll be looking for more upside. As you can see, we've got an impulse. All we're looking for is pullbacks. As long as the indicator confirms that we can ride onto the strand, we're gonna keep pushing higher. So this is where the rest of the cryptocurrencies broke out in the last couple of days. Now we're looking for this one. Is this a one? Uh, let's just put this one here. Is this this looks like a like an A? Uh, let me just switch this off here so I can show the structure clearly. Looks like we've got a running flat. It's similar to Bitcoin. One, two, three. We've got a running flat here and a push to the upside. That's an A B C structure. So what you're having here looks like a wave four. I'm gonna show this in the red color. We've got a pulsing move up here and a pulsing move here. 
if I show this one in the lower degree, we've got five waves here. One, two, three, four, and a five. One, two, three, we're currently in four, we're looking for a five. So that means the move to the upside is still intact on Monero. All right, Tron. All right, so Tron, let's have a look at Tron here on the daily. Let's have a look at daily here. So Tron looks to have made one and a pullback here. We're going to be expecting this move here. And A, B, C, whether this is going to be a pullback, doesn't really matter for now. We're just going to be trading this one to the upside. Dash. Bitcoin Dash, uh, you can see that Dash has got a similar structure to Bitcoin as far as this structure is concerned. But what we're looking at here, this is one, two, three, four here with this flat and a five. I was starting to make a correction. We've got one, two, three, four, and a five here, and we're starting to make a correction. This correction may be a double, like this, something like this, and we get a deeper correction, and then upside, then that's gonna be a WXY corrective structure, which means a one, two, three, four, five, and a correction in the purple degree. So currently, we're still looking for this one to complete, still looking for more upside here. So any pullback on dash, you take the trade to the upside. Omisego. Similar structure. Similar. It makes five, wave, five waves to the downside. This is one, two, three, four, and five. We're starting with an impulsive move to the upside. Are we starting this move here? Uh, it can't be that move if this is, if this is impulsive. This is one, two, three, four, five, so it looks like we're gonna have still a one, two, three, A, B, C here. Let's see how this plays out. So we'll be looking for this to break to the upside on Omisego. All right, and uh, Golem. Golem, expect a bit of a pullback here to make this corrective structure here and continuation to the upside before the drop here. For now, just focus on the pullback and then upside. Link, uh, before we go to link, B, Binance. So we look at Binance. So Binance is versus BTC. So we're still looking for this one. Let's, this one is a bit interesting here. Let's have a look here. Uh, let me show the structure here that we're looking at. So it looks like Binance is making this one, two, three, wave structure. We started with the pulse, we dropped it with a pulsing move, five waves to the downside, one, two, three, four, five. We pull back in three waves and it looks like we're making a diagonal in one, two, three, four, and a five. So we're expecting one more down here on Binance, one, two, three, four, A, B, C in the lower degree, and one, two, three, four, Five. One more. We're looking for this one more down. Makes sense because Bit Bitcoin is very strong uh, currently. So we could have this one more down before a resumption of the move to the upside. We've started with the move to the upside in three waves. So we've pulled back in three. Are we ready to make a push to the upside? That is what we're going to be looking at on Binance. And lastly, Link. We don't have enough data on link. We can see the breakout after this corrective structure on the daily. It has been pushing up higher with an impulse. Only thing we can do here is to try and ride the trend. Let's have a look on the four hour. We've likely we've got an indicator for that and to confirm whether the move has completed or not. What we're gonna do here is we wait for the pullbacks, similar to these pullbacks, similar to these pullbacks. We want deeper ones, you want, you want this size. This is too small to push up higher. Even if it does push up higher, you may get a deeper one that takes you out. So you want to get deeper corrective structures like this. So every time you get a pullback, until you see any signs of reversal, we're gonna be trading link to the upside. That's all for this week, guys. Trade responsibly. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you get an alert next time we post the video. Have a great week. Trade responsibly. Cheers. Bye-bye.